Hi guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to launch your first project. Now, in the last video, we spoke about what Pathways was and how to select a path. Now we've selected a path, we're going to learn how to launch our very first project. So if you're ready, let's get into it. So assuming you've logged into the Toastmasters website, toastmasters.org, and you've already selected your path, you simply come to the pathways menu. And this time we're not going to choose a path, but we're going to Basecamp. Now Basecamp is essentially the Toastmasters portal where all the educational material and info is stored. So in order to access any of the material, you simply need to go to Basecamp and it's going to be your go-to place for the educational material. So once you go to Basecamp, it opens up into this window and you will see at the top where it welcomes you to Basecamp. Now, where I want you to focus on when you come to Basecamp in order to launch your first project is the Paths and Learning Education Transcript. Now, it's available up here or it's available down here, but I, I'm, either of them work, so you can choose which ones you want. So I'm going to select that path and it opens up into the Paths and Learning window. Now, because I'm doing additional educational programs, you see others here, but assuming you're a newbie, you will only see the path that you selected after you took the assessment. So assuming my path is presentation mastery, I need to come here, you either see launch, activate, and once you've selected that, you open the curriculum and it takes you along. Right, now we're in our path. As explained before, within each path are five levels and everyone starts from level one where you deliver your icebreaker, you have an evaluation and feedback project, and you also have a research and presenting speech. Now, you do need to take note of the curriculum progress percentage bar as well as your level completion bar. So both are 0% because none of these projects have been done yet but as you complete your projects these bars are going to get fuller up so when you get to level two you're going to see that you have more subjects and as and the same principle applies as you complete the projects the bar is going to get fuller all the way to level five where you have the elective projects and then you complete the entire path all right so since we're at level one the first project is the icebreaker and we launch that with the launch icon. Right. Now take note that once you launch the project, it opens into a different window, right? We were in this tab and after we launched, it opened up into this tab. So it's important that you take note of how it opens up into a different window so you don't remain on this window when it's opened up into a separate window. I know that's not, not ideal, but it essentially is the way it usually works. So once you're here and it opens up, it opens up into a separate window and it's important that you take note of that. So here we're launched, we've launched our icebreaker and we begin by learning how to navigate through the window. So this page essentially tells you how to navigate, how to go forward, how to go backwards, what the links do, how to click on different items within a page versus how to go to the next page. So as you go along, this becomes more familiar. If you've already been here and you want to skip to the end, there's this drop down menu that shows you all the items that are going to be displayed in this window to aid you move along faster. So click next, gives you an introduction, a brief on what the project is about, helps you with helpful tips and advice. There's a project checklist for those who need that guidance in order to start and finish your project, as well as the purpose and overview of that project. So now, for example, the icebreaker project is to introduce yourself to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. And it gives you an overview where you're required to write and deliver a speech about any topic to introduce yourself to the club. And your speech can be humorous, informational, or any style that appeals to you. So just be yourself and deliver the speech in the way you see fit. Now there's always an assessment before and after you 
before and after you deliver the speech. And the purpose for this assessment is to gauge where you stand in terms of your speaking or leading ability. So for example, there may be certain assumptions that you have about yourself that may become clearer after you deliver the speech. And it's important to track your progress before and after. And as things become revealed to you, it gives you a more of a sense of where you stand and what you need to work on going forward. So it's in essence, it's a sort of self-evaluation that helps you move along through the toast on your Toastmasters journey. Now, the next is telling you what kind of competencies you learn from an icebreaker. So obviously, you recognize the elements of a basic speech. You'll be able to identify your communication and leadership skills. There's lots of competencies that you learn and it clearly highlights them in this screen. Now, this is a video, this is a screen that helps you know how to navigate. So the Toastmasters Pathways program is amazing because it embeds videos that help you with the learning process. So it's not just about reading where it's just theoretical. There's certain videos from other Toastmasters that encourage and motivate you and guide you through the Pathways program. So for example, you can watch a video where others talk about their experience with the icebreaker, right? So you can play this video or, and you can make it full screen and go Every through it. Every Toastmaster begins their journey with an icebreaker speech. As you prepare to deliver yours, you may find yourself wondering what the experience was like for others. We spoke with a few experienced members who talked about their icebreaker and shared tips that will help you. When you're giving your icebreaker speech and you're terrified, it's okay. So my advice is just relax, because Icebreaker is all about your personal story. It's all about you introducing yourself to the world. And if you if you get nervous, if you get nervous, you don't know what to say. It's okay because you're in a Toastmasters environment, and Toastmasters is a really positive and nurturing environment. So just do it and enjoy the process. Awesome. So you get to hear feedback from others who have been down this path and that should help guide you to navigate your own path towards meeting your Toastmasters goal. So the videos are very helpful to have that visual or that audio visual guide to take you along in this process. So you define your goals. For example, my reasons for joining Toastmasters may be to be a better speaker. Yours may be more focused on leadership. Or narrowing it down, I probably want to become better at speaking to a camera. Yours may be to be people. So whatever your goals are, you outline them in this speech outline sheet. And it gives you lots of helpful tips and tricks on how to organize your speech. So this is all found within your very first project. And you can already tell that there's a lot of information that is shared to help you with pathways and on your journey and it's important that for every speech that you deliver in front of a club you first go through this process because it highlights so many important things that you need to know in order to be successful and present your very best self when you eventually deliver your speeches or those public engagements that you saw that you came to Toastmasters for right now it also shows you how to prepare for a speech how to practice and these are one of this is one of the pages that i really like because it really highlights some of the tactics that you can take in order to make sure that when you step in front of the stage you've done the work and your only responsibility at that moment is to deliver so rehearsing with your friends and family recording yourself using a mirror breaking your speech into practice sections timing yourself all of these helpful tips and tricks definitely come in handy when you want to prepare for a speech and it's important that you go through this program in order to know all of these. Then they also give you advice on how to time, pace, organize, review, various advice and th there's lots of advice that is going to be thrown at you just to make sure that almost all bases are covered when it comes to your ability to present your best self once you step in front of that audience. So it's important to go through all of these. I will note, however, that sometimes you may complete a path and you realize that your bar is never going to 100% and it's possible that you may have skipped through some of the pages without actually clicking on some of the advice that is being shared and so the system doesn't pick it up as a 100% completion. So if you ever encounter that problem, you just need to go back through your course and then make sure that you've clicked or you click on anything that you left out in order for the system to pick up that you actually went through the entire course. It gives you additional advice on how to relax, 
how to breathe, how to enjoy, and also how to overcome the anxiety that we all face. Now, it tells you what to do after your speech as well. So, you prepare for the speech, you delivered it. Now, what happens after you've delivered your speech? You get feedback from your evaluator, or maybe your mentor. It gives you helpful advice on how to take that feedback, how to incorporate that feedback, and how to manage yourself as you receive that feedback. So, there's lots of helpful tips for before, during, and after. And then we come to the point where you evaluate yourself as I was saying. So you get to assess your skills, you get to complete your assignment, and then you get to evaluate yourself. Now, when it comes to the evaluation of the speech, it's the responsibility of the Toastmaster to download his evaluation resource and share this with whoever has been assigned as their speech evaluator. So the evaluation resource is available here. You can click it as a link and I prefer to use this because it is an editable version so you can easily share this with whoever it is and all they need to do is type out type out your name and and speech project and they can share this digitally with you so you can download directly from the pathways or from Basecamp and you have this evaluation resource and now your speech is going to be evaluated based on some general feedback as well as some more tactical feedback so your clarity your vocal variety your eye contact your gestures these are the various tactical criteria that are going to be used as well as the evaluators own advice to you on what you did well what you may want to work on and a challenge to you to make sure that the next time you deliver a speech you're doing it to a better extent than you previously did the, the game is to improve and it's continuous improvement all the way so once you're done delivering the speech and you've gotten the feedback from your evaluator it's now time to evaluate yourself and like i said before you now get to give yourself an assessment of where you thought you were versus where you actually are so in the beginning i gave myself ones and twos and now i probably feel like i'm not so bad or after i deliver this speech i'm so much better and once you're done with that you would have completed your path so now that's the simple and straightforward way of launching your first project as well as a mini tutorial of how to launch and deliver your icebreak. Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your evaluations in Basecamp with Toastmasters. If you're ready, let's get into it. All right, first we spoke about how to log in and select a path. Next, we talked about how to launch your first project. And now the next thing is to upload your evaluation. Now this is assuming that you've gotten, you've delivered your speech in front of the audience. Your evaluator has provided you with good constructive feedback via your evaluation sheet. And all that is left is for you to upload it onto the, onto your profile in Basecamp. So first, as always, we first need to log into Pathways, then go to Basecamp, which is where we're going to be uploading our evaluation all right so once you're in Basecamp it opens up into the Basecamp welcome welcome screen now where I want you to focus your attention is the my documents for now you might be tempted to go to the feedback icon but that is essentially where you go to provide feedback to others in the club and not necessarily where you go and upload your evaluation so you might get that confused but remember that your evaluations are uploaded to my documents great so once you come to my documents it's a really simple process for each path there are five levels and for each level there are three plus projects or there, there are various projects so you will see these folders are opened up in your ePortfolio under my documents and you can go to each of these in order to upload your evaluation now it's really very simple you can take a picture of your evaluation you can have it scanned on pc and all you have to do is make sure that once you open that level assuming you're doing your icebreaker and want to upload your icebreaker you simply come to add file you can select the file from anywhere on your pc or you can simply just drag and drop so assuming i wanted to select the file i would just go to my documents pick the file that i wanted to upload let's say just any random file okay let me pick this so assuming this was my evaluation then i can select this file and then simply 
add. So every time I come here, I would see that my evaluation form has been added and I can simply delete it anytime that I want. It's really that simple, regardless of the level you are. So for each level, there's going to be a folder for you. So assuming you're in level two, you can upload your files. You have to do this for every single level, every single project in order for your path completion to be recognized. It's that simple. So I hope this has been <laughs> entertaining enough. I hope this has been valuable. And if there's any questions you have, feel free to drop them in the comment section and I will definitely answer them as best as I can. Thank you for making the time and all the best on your Toastmasters journey. Cheers, guys.